So if you're a fan of visual novels, there's a high chance you've gone to the Visual Novel Database or VNDB to find out more information about certain ones or make your own profile to rate or more recently, write reviews for visual novels. But what if you're interested in what the Japanese fanbase thinks about certain visual novels and eroge? Enter Erogamescape. Erogamescape is really similar to VNDB in a lot of ways. As you can see, it has a very old school UI similar to VNDB. It's also possible to search for visual novels, find visual novel ratings and information, write user reviews, find different leases, among other information. With the name Erogame in the title, naturally the site will focus more on the 18 plus Eroge side of visual novels, but they are not averse to having all ages releases on there either. However, before I show you the different features of Erogamescape, if you want to go into the site yourself, you might have an issue if you live outside of Japan. You see, there's a chance Edo Gamescape will IP block you from viewing the site in general. If you run into this issue, one thing you could do is find Hiro underscore in on Twitter, who is an admin for Aero Gamescape, then send him a DM or tweet asking him to whitelist your IP. Just make sure to ask in Japanese. I'm going to provide a link to his Twitter and a copy paste message you can use, especially if you don't know Japanese, in the comments below. Just make sure to find your IP address, then change the message to add that accordingly. If you don't have Twitter, you could try to use a VPN or something, but I haven't tried this personally. Once you're able to view the site, let's try to do some simple browsing. When you go to the home page, you get to see some cool postings about sales of Japanese visual novels and eroge on various digital visual novel storefronts in Japanese. Now I'll show you how to simply find a visual novel you want using the search bar on the left menu. First things first with that, unless the original visual novel for the Japanese release had English text like Making Lovers or something, you're most likely going to have to search for the eroge title using the Japanese title, aka with the kanji and hiragana or katakana. If you know Japanese and have a Japanese keyboard, that shouldn't be too hard as long as you know the title name. However, if you don't know Japanese, an easy way to search is to find the original Japanese title on VNDB, copy that, then put that in the search bar. Before you search, be sure to change the search category on the dropdown to Gemu. For this search example, I'll be using Ayoku no Yustia. So after you search a visual novel name, the search results should return a list of all the releases for that visual novel. So if something originally had an 18 plus release, then later had a console port or multiple ones or some kind of re-release, then those will have their own separate entries on Aero Gamescape. For the most part, you should try to find the earliest release of the visual novel on Aero Gamescape since those will have the most ratings and reviews. There may be exceptions like DS8 a where non-18 plus versions released later were generally better received due to having more complete content. As you'll notice on the search results screen, each row has six different columns. Going from left to right, there's the game title, the publisher name, the release date, the median score, the standard deviation, and the number of people who voted for that visual novel. As said earlier, it'd probably be better to go find the visual novel entry that has the highest amount of votes, since that's likely the first and only version people read, and will likely have the most accurate and up-to-date user stats. When you click on an actual visual novel page, there's going to be a lot of information, so I'll go into them as briefly as possible. At the top, you have your basic information like the game title, publisher, release date, if it has 18 plus content, and supported operating systems. Then you have some stats based on user votes on Aero Gamescape, like median score, average score, number of voters, standard deviation, highest vote, lowest vote, the amount of people who dropped the VN, the amount of people who are currently reading it, I believe, the medium time the visual novel takes to get interesting, and the medium time the voters actually read the VN total. There's usually a set list of sample CGs from the visual novel taken from the Fantas store, also known as DMM. Since this is an Aeroge focused site, naturally the 18 plus CGs will show first, but there are a few all ages CGs as well. Going down the page, we have a section that lists general staff credits, another section to specify artists for the vocal songs for the VN, and the Aero Gamescape user's opinions on these vocal songs. There's a pretty hilarious section that basically asks how much did the user like the H scenes, with the top option basically saying you really liked them, and the bottom option saying you really did not like any of them. There's a couple sections that relate to linking to different related visual novel entries on Aero Gamescape, usually within the same series and or company, or various ports or remasters. And then you have a section on the stats of which operating systems the users read on. There's a pretty cool section where the users can give grades to various different categories about the visual novel. On different visual novel pages, these sections might differ based on the storytelling of the visual novel. But generally you'll get sections about the setting, scenario writing, 
CG opinions for the protagonist and is if it's worth doing all the routes. Continuing off that, there's a section where you can see the overall ratings the users gave to the visual novel and a little review in words if they wrote one. As you can see, they vote out of 100 as opposed to voting out of 10 on VNDB, so there's going to be a little bit more fluctuation of votes. Finally, you can see the score distribution among all the users who voted for the visual novel on Edo Gamescape. There are several sections I skipped over, but I believe I covered all the major ones you need to know. There is an option to search for all visual novels under a certain publisher. You can either use the search filter Brando on the left sidebar, or you can go to the visual novel page, find the publisher section, and then click on the name, and then you'll be given a list of all the visual novels by that publisher in a search list. So now I'm briefly going to talk about creating your own user profile to make votes and stuff. So when you get on the home page, there's a big blue button on the top left, which is the login button. When you click that, you're given the option to either log in or create a new account. When you do that, you can create the account and it should be pretty straightforward, user ID and password. Now I'm just going to go back to the login screen and log into my account so you can get a preview of a user profile through my account. When you see this screen, this means you successfully logged in so you can go back to the home page after this. To find a user profile in Arrow Gamescape, make sure you use the filter USA on the left sidebar before searching. After doing a search, you should be able to find the user profile and click to access it. Now that we're on a user profile, I just want to briefly go over what's on a user profile. On the left box, you can see statistics based on the visual novels the user voted for. In the middle box, you see a score distribution based on what score the user gave visual novels. On the right box, you can see the votes the user gave to different visual novels based on how much they liked just the H scenes. As you can tell, I had a lot of fun voting in this section. There's a section that orders the visual novels the user has voted for by score from highest to lowest. Any visual novel on this list that has that 18 marker actually specifies that the entry voted for was an all ages visual novel release. One other interesting thing you might notice is that Arrow Gamescape actually lists each Umineko episode separately. This contrasts VNDB, where Umineko episodes 1 through 4 are in one questions arc entry, while Umineko Chiru eps 8 through 8 are on one Chiru entry. There's also a section that shows the visual novels the user voted for, sorted by how much they liked the H scenes. There's a whole lot more on the user profile that I could talk about, but I'll just leave it to these basic ones for now. Now I'm going to briefly show how to vote for a visual novel. When you're logged in, you can click on the gray button and you'll be taken to a vote form. On this vote form, there's fields that might look similar when we were looking at the Ayoku no Yustia visual novel page earlier. You can write in your overall score, whether you own, read, or dropped the BN, roughly how long it took for you to finish the whole visual novel, how long it took for the visual novel to get interesting in your opinion, and choose how much you liked the H scenes. There seems to be a a couple of options that relate to your thoughts before you bought the visual novel, so I didn't vote on this one because I wasn't sure. Going down, you can put which operating system or console you read the visual novel on. Then you can leave both a really brief review or a full lengthy review of the visual novel overall. When you're done, you can click a small little button on the top left of the screen to record a new vote or to update previous votes. There's a bunch of other sections you can vote for, like how much you like the vocal songs or various other subcategories, but I didn't vote in those, so I'm not going to include it on this video. One cool thing related to Arrow Gamescape I'll briefly touch upon is that there's actually a cool video highlighting the top 100 rated Arrow game on Arrow Gamescape in 2019 on YouTube. If you just want to see the top 100 list in text form, I'll briefly show it on the screen for several seconds. And that about covers the basics of using Edo Gamescape. I didn't cover every single potential page and statistic, but now after this video, you should be able to access the site, view visual novel information and user opinions, and make your own account to vote on things. If you have any feedback about this video, feel free to leave a comment below.